Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if I sound like I'm talking quieter, it is because my husband just got home from an overnight shift and he is trying to sleep. So this video is gonna be very quiet. This is also my second time filming this video, which is a huge pain in the butt. If you guys are in the YouTube landscape, then you kind of know the situation. If you start something and then finish it and then you looked at the finished product and you're like, oh crap. Apparently my new word is definitely. I say it about 50 times. Um, I filmed three videos yesterday and every single one, it was like every 10, 20 seconds, I was saying definitely. So let's try this again. <laughs> I am super excited about this order. I love getting destination wax. I have started a list for the next month for August. I want to get some lows in some of these scents. That's kind of my goal going forward, to have more lows in my collection rather than having so many of the breakaway bars. I do like trying new scents, but I like finding my favorites. Also, I forgot I have Chamsky in here. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Every month she sends a bag with a card, well, a note that just says, thank you, Kimberly, happy melting. I love the aesthetic always of her company. So I don't have samples. I think they're at the bottom of this basket because like I said, I already filmed this and Champy's gonna be helping me. Let's go ahead and start with, let's start with this one. So we have Coast of Sicily, which is lavender and violets mingle with the salty ocean breeze of the Sicilian coast. So this one I did a warm review on and I said when I warmed it, I got a strong salty sea air scent and the lavender and violets just kind of disappeared in the scent. I couldn't smell them, but when I smell this one cold, I get the violets and the lavender. So I don't know why on warm they completely disappear. On cold, I, I love it. I get the hype on this one. On warm, I don't get the hype. So I will try that one again. I think I'm just gonna let it cure a little bit more. It's kind of been my theme for the last couple of months is I'm trying to let things cure a little bit more. I was kind of on a kick where I was trying to warm things two or three weeks after receiving them and it's just not working for me, so. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Also, if you have any other recommendations for Destination Wax, definitely let me know. I took some recommendations from you guys in my last video and I think somewhere in the Facebook group, someone had asked as well, so now I'm curious. Pink Peppermint is Pink Sugar Blender, Peppermint and Vanilla. This is your standard Pink Peppermint scent. Although I do like hers quite a bit. The vanilla really comes through. There's almost a sharpness in here. I don't know if it's the peppermint. It's really pretty though. If you're a pink peppermint fan, I would most certainly try this one. Let's see, let's do Malabar Coast. Malabar Coast is warm black. Malabar peppercorns overlaid with a light ocean breeze. So this one sounded intriguing to me. Anything ocean breeze, I'm like pretty much all over. This one is really unique. I think I, come here, come here. Oh, I don't have much experience with black peppercorn per se. I don't know. This one I can't really describe. I do smell kind of a unisex. I hate to say masculine because I feel like I overuse masculine a lot, but it's maybe like a birch and black pepper a little bit. If you've ever smelled that scent, I know that scent's kind of been going around uh, black pepper and birch. Yeah, it has that sharpness of the pepper with the ocean breeze. Next one I have is Marshmallow Fluff. This is Sweet Creamy Marshmallow Fluff. This one is uh, 
well for me anyways, is gonna be a blender. So, you know, there's not too much to explain with this one. Almost smells a bit vanilla. I think marshmallow always kind of smells a little bit vanilla, but you know, your standard marshmallow. I got that scent to mix with a few others and I'll get to that in just a minute. I grabbed Bonfire Marshmallow, which is Bonfire Bliss and Sugary Marshmallows. And I forget what Bonfire Bliss is exactly, but I think this one here, it said on the Facebook page that this was the more marshmallow of, she had like two or something. And she always kind of says, this one's more pink sugar, this one's more sweet, this one's more cookie. She kind of separates her scents up like that. Or when she gives descriptions, she kind of lets you know which one's gonna be more sugar cookie dominant, which is nice. It's for sure marshmallow, a nice rich marshmallow with a little bit of the campfire smell, which I think Bonfire Bliss kind of is. The next one I have is Beechwood Vetiver. This is Driftwood, Carnation, Night Blooming Jasmine, and a bit of seaweed and eucalyptus. I've had Beechwood Vetiver in quite a few scents that I've had from other vendors, but I wanted to try it on its own just to see what it smelled like. This one's kind of hard to explain. It's wood dominant. It is woody for sure. The wood note is coming out on the forefront for me. I get eucalyptus too. I can kind of smell that and a little bit of floral. Yeah, if you've ever had beechwood vetiver before, I would say it's more on a manly side, but well, no, actually I shouldn't say that. What's another word? It's not manly because it's not cologne but it's earthy. That's it. I'll say earthy because of the wood, the woody note. The next one I have is Grapefruit Joe Malone. I've been obsessed trying some of the Joe Malone fragrances. So I grabbed Grapefruit, Tangerine, Rosemary, Pimento, Jasmine, and Peppermint. It's similar to Joe Malone Grapefruit. One of these days I'm going to go in Sephora and just smell all the perfumes. Wow, and this has a strong, a strong grapefruit, but it's not like a bright, sunny, cheery grapefruit. It's more like a sour grapefruit, if that makes sense. I like it, it's good. Yeah, it makes me want to go smell the perfume really bad to see if how similar they are, see what I get in the perfume form. The next one I have is lavender, and this is the bracing scent of a fresh lavender plant in bloom. Now, I was just talking about in my warm reviews about lavender, just straight lavender, and I had received a scent shot from another vendor in lavender, and I didn't like it, and I like most of her lavenders, but this one to me is it's good, but I don't know if it's my favorite. I think lavender lovers would like this. I just don't know what it is. I think I like a bit more herbal in my lavender. This one smells a little bit less herbal, but it's not a sweet lavender either. So I don't know. Um, if you guys have a favorite lavender, I would love to know. I've been trying all of them. I feel like someone had recommended Pink Laundry or I saw it recommended in the Facebook group. This is Pink Sugar Blender and Fresh Laundry. I felt like I grabbed her Fresh Laundry, but I don't think I did. I think it was on my list, but I don't know if she was offering it this time. I think she's rotating her scents. Oh, this one is pretty. Now, there was a time when I did not like Pink Sugar. I was over it. Everything was kind of Pink Sugar dominant for a while. Oh, this one's pretty. I haven't tried a fresh laundry in a while. I feel like I had a scent shot of it a while ago, but I can't remember. This is definitely a sweet laundry scent. Love that one. Next one I have is Port Royale, or Port Royal, I don't know. Smoky red birch, sweet tobacco, grapefruit, lemon, cinnamon, and rum. 
This is one I wanted to try. Whoa, that is interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, so this smells like you went into a cigar shop or maybe an old, maybe like a ship um, that was sailed <laughs> like a long time ago with pirates. If Yeah, with pirates. And they smoke cigars, which do pirates smoke cigars? I don't think so, but they were drinking, they spilled some of their rum, and it just smells sweet. Like, I smell wood, I smell sweet, I smell tobacco. This one is very interesting. I, you know, I don't know how this one is going to play out because I don't really know where I would warm this and enjoy it. I mean, I guess the bedroom. This one, I think you have to have the nose for it or want this type of scent for a very special reason, you know? I think if you like very masculine scents all over your house, you would pro probably like that one. This one, I absolutely love. This is Lavender Rosemary. It's a sweet blend of lavender, sage, and rosemary. So this is almost verging on the lavender, like rosemary mint. I think that would be a great blend, by the way, lavender and rosemary mint. This almost smells sweet enough to be rosemary mint, but it's not. Whoever recommended this to me, and I can't remember who, this smells amazing. Oh, this is so good. It's fresh. It's got a little bit of herbal. You've got the lavender. It almost smells like a rosemary mint in here, but it's not. I don't think there's any mint. Oh, so good. I'm really liking that one. I can't wait to get that on warm. That one might be like a low worthy type situation. Next I have is Candy Cane Extra. This was my sample for last month and I freaking love this scent. This is fresh peppermint and spearmint, sweet strawberries and vanilla, extra minty, and it is extra minty. Oh, it, I mean, this thing is sharp. <laughs> like that mint in there is almost different than anything I've ever smelled before. I feel like the strawberries might be playing a part in here just kind of giving it a little bit of a different scent. It almost, it, I'm almost thinking like spearmint and vanilla in here also. There is spearmint and vanilla, but it's not spearmint vanilla, but that's what it's re reminding me of. Mm, that's pretty. So anyways, I love minty scents. That'd be great, especially in like a bathroom or like a kitchen if you need to clean it out. This is frozen clementine. This is Frozen, frozen, plus orange, lemon, clementine, grapefruit, tangerine, bergamot. Hey, come here. So the frozen, I believe, is a scent dupe from Lush. And I don't remember the notes from frozen right now, but I'm not gonna be very helpful. Anyways, I think frozen, frozen was not offered this time, so I just grabbed frozen clementine to try it. So this one has a strong citrus, obviously. I can smell the frozen in there and I wish I could tell you what frozen had in it. I feel like there's, gosh, I don't know. I feel like frozen is kind of a pepperminty scent, but I, I, I can't remember. If I can remember, I'll try to put it across the screen here because I really don't remember. This, let's see, which of these is, I feel like the bergamot is making the grapefruit and the like the orange oils smell a little bit more unisex scented. Sorry, I'm trying to get the, the dogs distracting me. I don't I definitely don't want to have to find this again. This is like I don't not a third time. <laughs> Next one I have is London Mist. This is a floral and lightly earthy scent overlaid with moss and swirling mist. <clears throat> so this one I've had in a scent before and I cannot figure out where I've had it before. It has a green scent to it and a light floral, kind of like a 
what is it, a water flower kind of scent? If anyone's had a scent with like water flowers, I feel like that's kind of what I'm getting. I have had this in a scent before. It's been like a mixer scent. It's been mixed with something else because I feel like the bottom, I feel like that's been a bottom note for me in a different scent. I feel like it's a popular oil that people use because it smells very familiar. Fierce is Fierce Cologne Woods, Lemon Lime, Lavender Musk, it's Amber Combi and Fitch type. So this is what I got to mix with Marshmallow or the Bonfire. For Fierce, I had in a, another vendor's blend and I loved it. Such a good masculine scent. I can see this being low for the, for sure. Hi, baby. Hi, little boy. You sit right here. Oh, this is cologne, like, to the max. How do they describe it? Woods, lemon, lime, lavender, and musk. I can, you know, honestly, I always just smell cologne. Like, I never know what I'm smelling when I smell cologne. It just always has to smell like man to me. Next one I have is Lavender Pink Sugar. This is Lavender and Pink Sugar Blender. Again, I was trying to try all the lavenders. This is Lavender and Pink Sugar. I mean, there's not much you can say. It's like a sweet lavender. Very pretty, I like that one. All right, I did grab two of these Cocoa Butter Cashmere scents. I did try this from another vendor. This is Sweet Tonka Bean, Coconut, Jasmine, Sandalwood, Amber, Musk, Warm Spices, and Cocoa Butter. I did grab two of these, so I'll just grab two. I think that was an accident, but whatever. So I had tried this from another vendor and I really liked it, so I wanted to try Destination Waxes, or wanted to try it from Destination Wax. Oh, this is so good. This is very similar to Hawaiian Tropic in the brown bottle that you spray. And it's like SPF 5, <laughs> which all of us used at some point, I'm sure. And then regretted it the next day because you burned. <laughs> that was me. So this one smells a little bit sweeter. It smells a little bit less tropical than I remember Hawaiian Tropic smelling. It just smells so good. It's like a sweet, tropical goodness. I guess you would say. So that's another one that would be great to mix as well. I can see mixing it with a lot of things. All right, let's try to roll through the rest of this. Okay, Corfu, which is one that just really intrigued me. This is a fragrant garden terrace on the Greek island of Corfu. A fragrant garden terrace on the Greek island of Corfu. Fresh cedar, fir, lavender, and citrus. Okay, this one is really unique. This one is interesting. Is there a lemon in here? Oh, citrus, okay. So I do smell, it kind of reminds me of, have, has anyone had or seen the scent cedar and citrus? I feel like that's what I'm feeling like. This is not what I thought it was gonna smell like at all. I like cedar scent, so I think that's why I grabbed this scent because I saw cedar and I was like, I need to try that one. And this has got lavender, fir, citrus. I like all those scents. Yeah, I mostly smell citrus on top of the cedar. That's what I would say. I feel like when I smelled this yesterday, I could kind of get a little bit of the fir tree, but not so much today for whatever reason. Next one I have is London Rain, and this is a warm rainy day in a London park. Rain, citrus, florals, and wood. It's Jomola Rain and Angelica. This is the one that I think was a little bit light. Yeah, this one is light. I get the rain. I can smell like that water note. It kind of reminds me of London Mist a little bit. It kind of has that same situation with like the floral. It's almost like a floral flower type note. So I'm gonna reserve judgment on that until I warm it. Okay, 
I did grab, we're almost done here. I did grab two of the lavender owls that she does. This is Lavender Lullaby. It's a sweet blend of lavender, lilac, and mimosa flower. This one was not, I don't know why, when I originally ordered this, I saw Lavender Lullaby and I automatically thought I'd have like bedtime bath in it. This is more floral for sure. I do like it. It's just, it's gonna depend on when it warms. Is that flower really gonna come out? Is it gonna be heavy floral or is it gonna be more lavender? If it's 50-50, because I do smell lavender in here, if it's more of a 50-50 situation, I think I can ha handle it, but if it kind of gets more floral, then it might be a no-go. So that one was one, you know, I wanted to try it. But like I said, I've been trying to try all of her lavenders. Next we have is Lavender Provence, and this is the scent of lavender blossoms. You can see the owl. And you can see kind of that gold overspray. I think it's super pretty. So this one is, they smell so different when you take them out. Like in the bag, I feel like you can smell them better. So this one is I don't know, I've never had anything like this before if I'm being totally honest. I feel like this is kind of a lavender and kind of like lavender fresh a little bit with a little bit of a clean note, but not as much, not as hard as lavender fresh. Oh, this one smells good. I think I do like this one. It's just a matter of getting it on a warmer and seeing how I like it. Okay. The two loaves I got, I did talk about Lavender Twilight in my last haul. Mm. Stop that, come here, come here. This is my favorite lavender, or my favorite Twilight blend. If you don't know what Twilight is, it's a lush dupe. Sweet Lavender, Lilac, Tonka Bean, and Ylang Lang. And this one is the best Twilight I have found. I bought a loaf last restock because I knew that I was gonna want a second loaf once my other loaf was cured and ready to go i knew i wanted another one on standby <laughs> to replace it so lavender oh and i get a strong throw from that one i warmed it before i ordered it in the last order and it threw really strongly for me so it, i had a scent shot i believe lavender fresh lightly floral lavender with a fresh soap note so last month or maybe two months before i had grabbed lavender fresh in a breakaway bar and i tried it and i loved it it is a lavender with just like it says a snow a soap note. it is lavender with that clean it's not ivory it's not dove it's just kind of, it's an unspecific soap scent. It's nothing I can put my finger on, but it's pretty. If you like lavender, I would definitely give it a try. I don't know if I'd buy it in a loaf right away. I would try the lavender first to make sure that you like it. But you can always get it at a breakaway bar, so there's that. Okay, I don't remember if I ordered this or if this is part of my samples, but... I have cedar. This is cedar wood softened with a touch of vanilla. Great for blending with pine scents. This would be good with a citrus too, now that I've smelled that cedar and citrus one. Okay, so this one to me, when I first smelled it, I was like, wait a second. I was, maybe I'm getting confused between cedar and like the birch woods, white woods, you know, all those woods. The vanilla tones down that cedar scent, so it's not so strong, but it is really good. I do like this. If you like woody notes, I would give this one a try. I like it with the vanilla. Okay, let's go through samples. Really quick, I wanna talk about this one right here, pomegranate bergamot. This is the first time I've smelled something like this. This is gorgeous, not just a fruit scent, almost like a rich pomegranate perfume enhanced with citrus and other fruits. This was amazing. Oh, 
This would be so good in body care. I can see why she says perfume. Oh gosh, the dog's trying to get my sample. Anyways, this is a, oh, it's a sweet pomegranate and it has a very feminine perfumey note to it. Oh, this is pretty. I can see this in body care. 100% so good okay the next I have is blood orange this is Taraco blood orange and goji berries more of an upscale candle scent than a fresh fruit scent so blood orange if you smell blood orange then you kind of know what it is it's kind of a more bitter not so bright as original orange, I feel like. Okay, let's finish this out with Hit the Road Jack, which is a Lord of Mist Roll dupe. This is actually pretty good in terms of dupes. I don't normally love like just straight dupes. I like them like mixed with things, but this one smells pretty close to the Lush Bath Bomb. So I always like it when they get it close to the Bath Bomb smell because it's kind of hard to replicate that, you know? Like bath bombs are made of certain ingredients and wax is made with certain ingredients. So anyways, that is my haul. Sorry, it's kind of a mess. Like I said, I'm, I had to refilm it. I had to do everything I could to get out of bed today and get motivated. So this is kind of an accomplishment <laughs> that I even got out and did a few things today and got this refilled because I was just like, screw it. But I love Destination Wax so much. So I was like, you know what? I really want to get the haul out there. Come here. Oh, Champy's not happy about it. He's not happy about this at all. <laughs> Come here. Come here. So like I said, I wanted to film this because I do love Destination Wax and I've already got my list going for next month. So I plan on ordering for the next couple of months that she offers things. So yeah, we'll see. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.